Hey everybody, we're here in the Forbidden Woods with an entourage to welcome us. Don't worry, this fight is only hard if you're an idiot, but seeing how it's 10.30 in the morning, I might be an idiot. I'm more of a noon riser kind of guy. Oh hey, that does work. But yeah, if you use... Oh, come on. Oh. But hey, I get some health. That's all that matters. Um, ah. Yeah, I, I like to get every one of them. If you use it, it stuns them very short term. Uh, how many of those do I have now? Oh yeah, I, have, I think I have enough. But yeah, I'm, after this I'm going to be showing you what the chew jelly is for. Oh, come on! Oh, no! You don't! Okay, come here. Both of you. And wait for it. And parry! How you hurt in a living puddle of goo? I have no idea. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to get that. Um. But yeah, remember how I was telling you you can sell stuff at Beetle's shop? Stuff from your spoils bag only. Uh, Chew Jelly is not worth selling. It red sells for one rupee, green sells for two. So yeah, it's really not worth it. And this is the dungeon map for this dungeon, obviously. It, same deal as before. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my audacity so that I can see the waveform. And now we're stuck in here with this giant divine eyeball thing that looks at us. Seriously, that thing's creepy. Yeah, you can cut off some of the vines, but you can't destroy the main eyeball looking thing. You've got to go over and grab this giant nut looking thing. I don't know what it is. Throw it and it'll kill it in one hit. I have somehow gotten hurt by the rebound. Um, I honestly don't remember what's down here. I know that's not nice. You can use that to just make them stand up so you can kill them. Uh, if you use the leaf on piles of leaves like that, you can actually get some money. Or other stuff. Not just money. That would be a jerkish move, wouldn't it? Oh, right, right. I was like, what? But yeah, if there's one that you can't quite blow away, burn it. This game is quite pyro happy, isn't it? Don't know why there's a fairy here, but yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not much of a fan of this dungeon. Just I don't know why. I think it might be because I grew up next to a small forest, so. And besides my cat getting killed by a coyote or six in those woods, I really don't have any issues with the woods. I mean, I kind of like the forest, so. The fact that they're turning the forest all evil in here, it's kind of like, eh. But this is not my least favorite dungeon by far. Oh. Come on, come here. Bark. Damn it. Um, okay, let's line ourselves up. Oh, that. Link, you didn't even aim for it. What the? Okay, one last try. Oh, come on! Oh. Yeah, we've got to get something first, don't we? 
But yeah, if you come down here, uh, yeah, you can actually. Ah, oh. sorry about that. You just go from pod to pod, and you can mind the vines. They will hurt you. You cannot hurt them. Link needs a pair of hedge trimmers. Oh, by the way, these poker pods, if you're out of magic and you've got one nearby, just drop into them. They will replenish your magic. Okay, we've got another one of those eyeballs. Just light that bomb, and it'll kill all three chews. Ow. And then pick it up. That did not work. Just wait for it to sprout back up. Try again. You know what? Ha! Ah. Wonder what's up here. I honestly don't remember. I usually just skim through everything on this one. Um. Something over here. Anyways. Oh, you jerk. <sighs> oh, there's something over there. Looks like an evil thing. Uh, that was weird. Wait, I want to see what's in here. Oh, hello. Come on. Thank you. I believe all that's up here is 20 rupees. Yeah. And since my wallet's full, not going to be going for them. So... Uh, huh. Making good time. For this one, you just blow at the fan looking thing and then the. I don't know, trolley, gondola, whatever it is. And then you just use the Deku Leaf to push yourself across. When I first played this, I had such a hard time because I thought you were supposed to blow at it again. By the way, to kill these guys, just blow on them and then they won't be able to fly. And since their wings are their shield, they won't be able to get away or defend themselves. Like. Ah. See? Makes a very metallic sound when you hit them, doesn't it? Okay, come here. Oh, come on! Ah, thought I would hit it with a blast. Ah, shit! Come on! Haha! <laughs> and then all that's up there is five rupees. Not. It's not bad, it's not worth it for me, because, again, my wallet's full. I will be trying to take care of that, I assure you. Alright, for this one, just get the gondola thing over. Go back over. This is one of the more tedious things you've got to do in here. Break through that. Grab the giant nut of doom. Uh... Put it there and so that you don't blow it away. And come on. Oh well hello. And oh it's What's in here? 
Nothing. Disappointment. Same thing if what? Never mind. Huh, by the end of this dungeon we're gonna have like even magic and health. Pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Alright. Let's try this again, shall we? Come on. Come on. Thank you. Throw that thing. And then go through. Oh, look! Another eyeball and nut puzzle. But what's this? I cannot get to the nut. How am I ever going to get the nut out of that cage of my thorny vines? Oh, that's how. Yeah, you use your Deku Leaf quite a bit in this dungeon. And, uh... It doesn't become useless, but... It... You don't use it quite as much, I don't think. One thing you always use, I think, is the grappling hook. Do, 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 do. Any thank you, stupid vine. Uh, yeah, if I get the dungeon item soon, I might be doing that fight and then calling it a video. Just because these dungeon videos have tended to take a while. Oh, these little things are charming. They don't hurt you, but they slow you way the hell down. To get rid of them? Spin attack. Crap. Well, if you roll, it, it sends them off. It's a good short-term strategy, but... Soon you're gonna see why it's not a good long term. Get off. There's also a chance that they might not die when you do that, so just be aware of that. Okay, this part I'm gonna be taking slow because I can never remember the route. It's pretty much a a vine puzzle, I suppose you could call it. In here is I'm pretty sure it's the compass. I'm 99.100.1 percent sure. Yes, 100.1. But what you really want in here is on the other side of that vine, and that. I was worth it. I wonder. Oh, hey, that does work. So, yeah, you can actually just have your shield up the entire time during this thing. Uh, yeah, it's kind of. Take the left. And I'm just kind of irritating. It is fucking irritating. Give me my heart. Ah! In here is a small key to the next area. Sorry if you hear some, like, fuzzy buzz or anything. It's me turning my head. I have a very fuzzy microphone, or not fuzzy microphone, but fuzzy headset. It's very well padded. And then you've got these jerks again. I believe they're called Morths. Kind of like Mort from Family Guy, but with a H at the end. I love killing choo-choo's. 
They're one of the more common enemies throughout this game. <laughs> oh, we haven't even covered the most annoying kind of blin yet. You know, because there's Boko blins and Mole blins. There's a third kind. They are the worst. Make it? Yes. What's up here? I could probably just check my map, see if there's anything up here. Huh. Oh, it's the warp pot thing. Alright, just to be fair, just to show you, this is what happens. You jump in, it does the white loading screen of hidden loading, and then you get spat out in front of a choo-choo. That is fantastic. Oh, what? But, yeah. Oh, hey, I can make it all the way, can I? <laughs> you can't really destroy it by slashing at it, but it's damn fun. Oh, this one's annoying, because you got to get rid of him. Oh, hello. I have tried and tried to get him to do that uh, like a million times. Man, I feel like Chugga Conroy finding a shiny coffin. Like, it made me not that excited, but... You get the idea, right? Okay, in here is what well, spawns Morph. Uh, Mothula. There are two kinds. This one, and then another cat. If you attack them, they spit a ton of Morphs out their butt at you. I don't get it. Come on. So, yeah, we are doing very good on timing. We are going to make it to the... Ah! To the mini-boss. Who, if you know how to fight it, is a pushover. And if you don't know how to fight it, that's what I'm here for. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Um... Oh, you jerk! I'm gonna go up against the mini boss. At, no, no, hey! Come on! Oh, screw you! As Ganon once said, "You shall die, 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 die." What? We. Where is the chat? Oh, hello. What are you? Uh, I think I know how to get to it now. Alright, by the way, you can stop swinging and then actually climb up the rope. And most of these pedestal things you can actually stand on. Aha! Sorry if you heard that. I. I was scratching my nose. And I bumped the mic. This thing picks up everything except for what's behind it. You've got an awesome noise canceling microphone here, man. And up. Oh my god. Oh wait, you don't even have to. Like... Oh, joy pendant? Oh. Okay. Me likey slashy! Me likey bouncy! Me likey bouncy! Yep. Alright, so go through here through the ominous black void. The door locks behind us. Link walks in. Notices some dust falling on him. Big Mothula. Rocket powered bug! First off, if you're trying to get golden feathers, 
This guy has one. Second. If you use the Deku Leaf on him, he's a pushover. Why? Because he stops flying? Oh, crap. Just don't let him do that. Come on. And then once he's on the ground, just slash away at him. And he's dead already! Ooh, treasure ball. Probably not worth it because we're full on wallet. Not worth it because we've got a full wallet. Hey. In here is a classic item from the Zelda series. What is it, you may ask? It's the boomerang! Target specific objects by holding the button you set it to and aiming at something until the red targeting train just to a star looking thing. You can target up to five objects at once. I don't remember. Could you do that with the boomerang in Ocarina of Time? But yeah, what you want to do to get out of here is target those two crystal looking things. Door will open. And I only noticed this on my last playthrough. That's a giant face. With horns made of trees. But yeah, I'm going to be heading out next time so until next time whoa I dropped a ton of frames oh hell my laptop's not plugged in okay I really hope this video comes out good please don't make this see you next time